So what should be the notes that we sound as we reflect on the past, as we make this service of memorial? And the first must surely be repentance. A friend of mine who is an American bishop was challenged at the Lambeth Conference in 2008 by an African bishop who was very concerned that the Episcopal Church should repent of their sin, the sin of inclusion for LGBT people. And his response was interesting. Yes, he said, the church should repent, but its repentance should be for centuries of exclusion and censure, for centuries of persecution and harm. This was the repentance that was required. For the church has forced upon LGBT people a sense of shame, of silence, of secrecy, and of oppression. And of this, we must repent. And it gives me both pain and a sense of satisfaction as a bishop of the Church of God to stand before you this evening and to express that repentance on behalf of the Church. To say sorry to our LGBT plus siblings for the hurt or the pain, for the shame or for the dispossession that the Church has enforced upon you. Change must come. The Church must learn to do better. And alongside the sense of repentance, I also want to proclaim the good news of affirmation. The good news of affirmation tells us that God's love embraces all, that God's love can transcend even the most difficult of situations. It speaks badly of the church that often we have required people to believe in a certain way and to behave in a certain way before we will allow them to belong to the church. But we have forgotten to whom we belong because every human being is a child of God and every human being is infinitely precious in God's sight. So as well as repentance for the past, may we affirm the immeasurable value of each human being. May we affirm the memory of those who have suffered loss or diminishment and affirm their humanity in the presence of God this evening. In a few moments, you will be invited to lay a white flower as an affirmation of those whom you love and remember, of those whose diversity we are learning to celebrate, a pledge for a future in which all the children of God are celebrated for whom they are. And for this past, we offer repentance. And for this affirmation, we offer our hope. 
Thanks be to God. Amen.